Hello guys, the Hoovimon Geek here, and as my first Doctor Who video on the channel, I thought I would go over all the audio CDs that I have. Um, so yeah, basically I've got some of the main range and then a few spin-offs. So here we go. So we're going to start off with the main range, and this is the first one in the series, which is the Sirens of Time, and it has the 5th, 6th, and 7th Doctor in it. Overall, this isn't the best story to start off what has become Big Finish and all of its other forms of audio CDs that are too many to buy and are too expensive to get them all, but hey, I'll get there one day. So then we have uh, Phantasmagoria, which is a fifth Doctor story. Uh, I don't remember too much about this one. It's pretty good. Uh, you know, uh, it's um, more of a historical than an actual like sci-fi one, but I don't, I don't mind the historical um, audio CDs. Then we have Whispers of Terror. Personally, I really like this one. It's very ex experimental with the sound. Uh, it's got the Sith, Sixth Doctor and Nicola. That's not her actual name, but you know, that's her actress name. Can't remember what she's called in the actual TV series. But yep, that's the third one. Then we have The Land of the Dead, another Fifth Doctor story. Uh, this one isn't great, it's probably one of the lesser, better, if that, that doesn't, yeah, sure. The ones of the, the beginning of the main range. Then we have Fearmonger, which is a very strong story and still holds up to the ones that they released today. Uh, it's got Sophie Aldred and Sylvester McCoy in it, with Ace and the Seventh Doctor, it's a very good story. Then we have the Marion Conspiracy, which is signed by, I think, Colin Baker and Jacqueline Rayner. I didn't get it signed. I thought it off eBay. It was already signed, but it's pretty cool to have in the collection. It's a very good story as well with um, Evelyn Smythe and the Sixth Doctor. It's a very good companion Doctor combo. Then we have the Genocide Machine, with the Seventh Doctor, the first part of the Dalek Empire series. Then we have Red Dawn, which is an Ice Warrior story. I quite like this one, actually. I um, don't think it's, like, a massively favourite one by a lot of fans. But, yeah, I, pre I enjoyed it. So, yeah. Then we have Spectre of Lanyon Moor, which has the Brigadier in it and the Sixth Doctor, which is pretty cool. It's a pretty good story as well. Then we have Winter for the Adept. Again, not not a very good story. I feel like the Fifth Doctor in the sort of early early sort of releases of the main range doesn't have very good strong stories apart from the odd one or two. But yeah. Then we have the Apocalypse Element, which is the second part of the Dalek Empire series, it has Romana in it. Fires of Vulcan. Which is the Seventh Doctor and Mel? Mel. Um, this one is an alright story. It's like it's probably middle. It's not like bad, but it's not like amazing. So yeah. Then we have the Shadow of the Scourge with Bernice Summerfield and Ace with the Seventh Doctor. Yeah, I. This is again another good story. Um, yeah. I'm going to be reviewing all of these at some point, so in more detail. So I'm just going to do a quick like overview of them. And we have the Holy Teller, Te Teller, no Terra, with oh I can't remember his name, Frobisher, that one. Yeah. So uh, I think uh, from what I remember, this is a this is a very good story. It's written by um, Robert Sherman, and he always writes good stories. So I think it's written by Robert Sherman. Yes, it is. Then we have the Mutant Phase, which is part three of the Dalek Empire. Don't really remember much about this one. I think it's got like something to do with a library in it. But other than that, I can't really remember too much. Then we have the first Eighth Doctor story, which is Storm Warning. Um, out of the four of the, like, the first series of the Eighth Doctor, I think this is probably second best. And the best is, of course... Not this one, Sword of Orion. I actually like this one, but um, actually I can't decide which I like better. I like them all, 
For like Stones of Venice is my least favourite, which is the one that is coming up next. Yeah, so we have the Stones of Venice, which is again signed by someone. Not sure. I got it off eBay, so yeah. Then we have Min Minuet. Minute. Minuet in how This is again signed for someone called Ben. My name is not Ben. Love from India. India Fisher, who plays Charlie. Yeah, and this one also has the Brigadier in it, which is cool. Then we have Lou Garou. Um, I actually really quite like this one. It's got werewolves and things in it. I thought it was pretty good. Pretty good story. And we got Dust Breeding. Don't really remember too much about this. I think I've only listened to this one like once. So yeah, don't really remember too much about it. But yeah. Then we have Blood Tide. I like this story. Uh, it's another Evelyn Smythe. Sixth Doctor combo um, has Charles Darwin in it as well, and the Silurians, which are always cool. Yeah, um, not very many audio CDs that have like, the Silurians, Silurians in, so yeah. Then we have the first of the Project Trilogy, which is Project Twilight. Can't really remember too much about this one, to be honest. Maybe this one is the one with vampires in, and I've got Lugaroo mixed up. But yeah, I can't really remember. Um, but yeah, I will go into a lot of these when I do a more in-depth uh, review of them. Then we have Eye of the Scorpion. Uh, I, this one, this one's alright. Uh, it's nothing like special. It um, brings in another companion who is called I can't remember the Egyptian one, whatever she was called. Can't remember, but yeah. Then we have Colditz, this is number 25. Uh, I think this has David Tennant in it, actually, as a, one of the sort of Nazi soldiers, and it, it's a Seventh Doctor and Ace story as well, and this is a, probably a, a good story. I might do a video of ranking all of the main ranges, like the first 50 main ranges at some point. That might be quite a cool video. So next up we have Primeval, which is number 26 in the main range. Um, can't really remember too much about this one. Then we have The One Doctor. Lots of people say this is overrated, but I, I do think it actually is one of the best stories of sort of 1 to 50. So, yeah. Then we have the second lot of the Eighth Doctor audio CDs that are in the main range with the Inventors of Mars. This one is all right. It's not great. Then we have the legendary Chimes of Midnight, which is a very good story. Again, by Roger Robert Sherman. And we have the Seasons of Fear. Don't really remember much about this one. And then we have Embrace the Darkness. Followed by The Time of the Daleks, which is the fourth part of the Dalek Empire. And that concludes the Dalek Empire series within the main range. Then we have Never Neverland, which sets up Zagreus. And then we have the legendary spare parts. This was the last one that I needed to get to complete the 1 to 50. And it took me forever to get. But actually I got it in a pretty good deal. Uh, there was four CDs, maybe five for like 30 quid. And yeah, so I picked this one up as soon as I saw it. Then we have Ish. I uh, don't remember much about this one. We have The Rapture, which I really enjoyed. I thought it was a very good story. The Sandman, um, I don't really remember this one, I think I found this one a bit confusing, so I'm, I'll probably have to re-listen to this to be able to give an actual, like, opinion on it. Then we have The Church and The Crown, which I can't remember much about. Followed by Bang Bang A Boom, which I also cannot remember much about. And then we have Jubilee, which is... The predecessor to the TV episode Dalek and is a very, very good audio CD. Very fond of this one, as lots of people are. Then we have what is the messed up audio CD of Necromantia. Um, yeah, I don't think I really need to talk about this. It's just like, what was the person writing it even like thinking of? Then we have the Dark Flame. I don't really remember much about this one. Pretty boring one, to be honest. 
we have Doctor Who and the Pirates. Um, I actually do quite like this one because of the Gilbert and Sullivan and like the musical stuff. I am a music student, so uh, yeah, I did quite like this one. Then we have Creatures of Beauty, which I don't remember much about. Followed by Project Lazarus, which I also don't remember much about. I've only listened to these later ones sort of once or twice. Then we have Flip Flop, which is a very good audio CD. Um, I really like the story. You can listen to them either way. So you've got two CDs and they can be listened to in either order and still make sense. And it is a very, very good story. We now move on to ones that I have not actually listened to yet. So we have Davros. Omega, Master, and Zagreus. So that completes the 1 to 50. So I do have some of the ones beyond 1 to 50. They're kind of a bit sporadic. So we have Scherzo, The Creed of the Croman, The Natural History of Fear. I haven't listened to any of these. The Twilight Kingdom. Faith Stealer, still sealed. The Juggernauts, still sealed. The Council of Nic Nicaea. I think that's how you pronounce that, don't really know. Terra Firma. Night Thoughts. The Settling. Something Inside, Renaissance of the Daleks, Frozen Time, and 100, which is still sealed. So I also have a couple of the spin-off ranges from Big Finish, but before I go over those, I'm just going to show this. This is a short little audio story by Warp Warp, and it came in Warp Warp Magazine Volume 3. So for the audio spin-off series that I have, I have the Sarah Jane Smith comeback, Dalek Empire Part 2, The Human Factor, and Cyberman, the complete series 1 and 2, I've not listened to any of those. Uh, then I have a companion chronicle, The Mahogany Murders, and then the Transit of Venus, and finally Ringpool World. I'm, I'm planning on expanding my Companion Chronicle collection in the near future. I then have The Third Doctor Adventures Volume 1, um, and I like both of the stories that are in here. Can't really remember too much about them, but I really enjoy listening to them. So Then we have the Fourth Doctor Adventures Series 1, Episode 1, Destination Nerva. The Renaissance Man which I haven't listened to yet, and Energy of the Daleks, which is probably the... I haven't, obviously, I've not got all of the ones from Series 1 so far, but from what I hear, this one is the best of the first series, and I, from what I've listened to so far, which is only two, but this one is better than Destination Nova. I then have Series 1 of Jago and Lightfoot. You know, it's Jago and Lightfoot. How can you not have Jago and Lightfoot? Really hope to get the rest of these at some point. I have... The Ninth Doctor Chronicles, which was good to listen to. Then I have the Tenth Doctor Adventures, Volume One. Um, I can't remember. Oh, it doesn't show them. I have to go on back. Can't remember which. So I think, uh, to be honest, they're all good. I think Death and the Queen was probably one of the the better out of the three of them, but I can't really remember. But I will probably going to review all of my audio CDs at some point. I then have Class Volume 1 and Volume 2. And I've listened to all of these, and actually they are very good. And they are very similar to the TV series, which I really enjoyed and was sad when they didn't announce a second series, because they ended it on such a cliffhanger. And that is it, guys, my entire Doctor Who audio CD collection. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and make sure you subscribe and like for more.